Bisect is a blender add-on designed for quickly cutting a mesh along a helper plane. It allows you to rapidly add supporting edges and cuts in areas where standard tools are inefficient or require too many steps, all while providing the ability to trim away unwanted geometry. Let's select a polygon and activate the add-on by pressing Shift plus B. Position the helper plane where you need it by moving your mouse and apply the cut by clicking the left mouse button. Done. You are awesome. Now let's take a closer look at all the features. The add-on's entire workflow is built around the use of the helper plane. Let's examine several methods for creating it in more detail. Polygons, we use this in the first example. Simply select a polygon whose orientation suits you and work your magic. You can select multiple polygons at once and each will have its own helper plane assigned to it. However, don't overdo it as with each selected polygon, the calculation complexity increases exponentially and may cause the program to freeze. It might seem like the plane copies the polygon, but it is actually created perpendicular to its normal. Therefore, if the polygon isn't perfectly flat, the orientation of the helper plane will differ. When a single edge is selected, the helper plane will be created perpendicular to it. When multiple edges are selected, imagine they form a polygon. This time, however, it gives us more freedom in choosing the cut direction. Vertices, the same principle as with edges, but less intuitive, as each vertex can have its own normal direction. If you want to cut a specific part of the model without affecting the rest, simply hide the unnecessary parts or isolate the part you need. The cut will only appear on the geometry that is not hidden. We've covered the creation of the helper plane. Now let's go through the add-ons operation modes. By default, the knife mode is active which cuts through the entire mesh, creating new edges. Pressing the B key activates the 3D cursor slicing mode, which uses the 3D cursor's position and orientation. Press the X, Y, and Z keys to switch axes. Alt plus R aligns the 3D cursor to the world coordinates. Alt plus G resets the 3D cursor's position to the world origin. Pressing the C key enables cutoff mode, the part of the model highlighted in red will be deleted. A second press inverts the selection. A third press disables cutoff mode, as does the Shift plus C shortcut. The F key enables the fill mode to close the hole after cutting off a part. The W key allows you to adjust the merge distance by moving the mouse left and right. You can reset the merge distance value by pressing Alt plus R. Let's explore some common use cases for the add-on. Its primary purpose is to add cuts in situations where standard tools like edge loop and knife struggle. This is especially useful for complex multi-layered geometry in areas where a cutting path encounters end gons allowing for precise slicing where traditional methods fail. Thanks for watching.